One day I walked into the classroom and saw a cheerleader harassing another girl, calling her names. The cheerleader was my friend, so I pulled her aside and told her what she was doing wasn't cool. She said, since when do you care about other people's feelings? I looked at her and I said, well, I've been reading this book lately and it's really opened my eyes. She responded by saying, you'll be back to your old self in a couple weeks. I knew she was wrong about that. Reading Izzy's Fire totally changed my outlook on people. It made me realize how bad discrimination could really be. The next class period, she did it again. I stepped between them and I said, listen, what you're doing, it isn't cool and it isn't funny. No one here is laughing with you. It's just immature. A couple of my friends said, hey man, we didn't have the guts to speak up. You did the right thing. Afterwards, she told me she didn't want to be my friend because I had embarrassed her in front of everybody. A couple of days later, she pulled me off to the side and said, hey, I've talked to that girl and she's fairly nice. I'd like to get to know her and become friends. Thank you for telling me what I did was wrong. I sure as heck wouldn't want anybody to do that to me. If I could, I would make Izzy's Fire required reading for all high school and middle school students. It's a reminder that one person can make a difference. I've seen kids getting bullied and I've stopped it. If one kid steps in, others will start to step in too. Adolf Hitler was a bully. He convinced thousands of people that Jews needed to be exterminated in Europe. He would have succeeded too, except for some brave souls. Izzy's Fire tells the true story of how a poor Catholic farm family sheltered 13 Jews in Lithuania at the height of the Holocaust, allowing them to live underground in a potato hole. All of them would have been murdered had the Jews been discovered. When I learned of this remarkable story, I couldn't call myself a journalist without telling it. Izzy's Fire first became popular in the Chesterfield County Public Schools, where Sam attends classes. After reading it, thousands of students crawl through the recreated potato hole every year at the Virginia Holocaust Museum in Richmond, Virginia. The book has been used in many schools, colleges, and universities, and even in Israel and Lithuania. When Sam told me about the bullying incident, I was reminded once again of how important it was to teach books like Izzy's Fire. It helps students to understand that prejudice and discrimination are learned traits. Adolf Hitler actually became a monster, but at one time, he was a child.